Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this video, I'm going to talk about the idea of homogeneous system. And it is a very simple idea, really. Oh, when you have a linear equation, a system of linear equations, then that particular system is called homogeneous. If the constant term in each uh, equation is zero. So basically, this one right right here refers to this part okay where you have the constant term is all zero in each equation and if for example you refer to the augmented matrix the augmented matrix will have this part here to be all zero and when you have a homogeneous system you will have some sort of solution. So it says here that homogeneous system cannot have no solution. So there will be some answers to these unknown variables, okay? And in this example here, we are going to look at this system and we are going to try to determine the values of x, y, and z. So here is the system and clearly you can see that this part here are all zero, which indicates that the system here is homogeneous and when you learn that this is a homogeneous system it automatically means that you will be able when you try and solve this you'll be able to get some answers to it or some solution okay now let us try and solve this uh, linear equations a system of linear equations using um, Gaussian elimination so um, so maybe we can use this method. Well, what we can do is we can start off by um, changing the look of this into an augmented matrix. Therefore, uh, it will look like this. So here, for the first row, we will have coefficients 2, 3, and negative 1. And here is 0 for this part. <coughs> Next, for the second row is negative 1, 5, and 2, also 0 on this part. Okay, uh, what we can do now is uh, maybe if you want, you can change the rows between them. So I can change second row to be on the first row. Um, therefore, here I will have negative 1, 5, 2, 0, 2, 3, negative 1, 0. Next, what I can do is I can turn this value here into the value of 1 and that can be achieved if I multiply negative 1 with the first row. And the result that I will have is 1, negative 5, negative 2 and 0. And for the second row here, the values remain the same. Now what I need to focus on is I need to turn this value into 0. So what I will do is um, that can be achieved by considering um, the change in row 2 plus multiplying the first row with negative, negative 2. So here we have the first row remain unchanged. Now the second row becomes, well, 2 plus negative 2 times 1 is 0. 3 plus negative, sorry, 3 plus positive 10 is 13. Negative 1 plus 4 is 3. Now 0 plus negative 2 times 0 is also 0. Next, uh, in order to make it into an REF form, this part here has to be equal to 1, so I'm going to just change this value to 1. And that can be achieved if I consider multiplying with 1 over 13, okay, with row 2. So, um, the result that I will have is 1, negative 5, negative 2, 0. This one is 0, 1 over 13 is 0, 13 with 1 over 13 is 1. 3 with 1 over 13 is 3 over 13. 0 with this is 0. And here is an REF form. 
uh, REF matrix, sorry, row echelon form matrix, and you can stop right there. So that is the idea of using Gaussian illumination. You will only do this process until the matrix has turned into REF. <clears throat> now, based on this, what we can do is, well, uh, hang on, let me just erase some part of the slide. <clears throat> Okay. Mm. Oops, sorry. So now what we can do is now we can focus on this part here. So here what we have is this is x, y, and z. So we have one times y. So here we have y plus three over thirteen z is equal to zero. So that is um the first one, the first result that we get by considering this um, second row here. Therefore, what we can do is y must be equal to negative 3 over 13z. So that is um, you, what you might um, consider. Now, the next part is we are going to consider this part here. So here we have 1 times x is x minus 5y minus 2z is equal to 0 and I'm just going to let x here be the subject so x is equal to 5y plus 2z so this is um, another part that you um, can consider that comes straight from this um, first row here in the augmented matrix now um, <coughs> Of course, we can see that we have three variables that you, you should solve, x, y, and z, but we only have two equations, and therefore, this is an example of solution where you're going to have an um, infinitely many solutions. Yeah? Therefore, the answers here have to be um, written in terms of parametric representation. And uh, for this one here, we're going to let z is equal to t, where t can be any real number. So z here is going to be a free variable. So it can take any value, uh, and that value is represented by t. So that value can be any real number. Because z is equal to t, therefore we can find what's the value of y. So y must be equal to negative 3 over 13t. So th that comes straight from this part here. Since z is t, we can just substitute t into this part. Therefore, you'll be able to get the value of y. y here depends on the value of z, which is t. So y is equal to negative 3 over 13t. And what is the value of x? Well, x is just going to be 5. Um, what is y? y here is negative 3 over 13t. So we just write it, that, write it that down. Plus 2. What is z? z is t. And based on this, you can simplify the result here. So therefore, x is equal to um, 11 over 13 okay so that is the result for z y and x <clears throat> okay um that's all for now thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video